Ingam. Thank you, Deputy Chairman, sir. Sir, we... No, the, you know the time for Adesh category is total time 27 minutes, 6 speakers. That means 5 minutes per. That is the time. Sir, you are most... You are more sympathetic than Jatia, sir. So I know, please. <laughs> I know if Jatia stands for election against me, you will all vote for him. <laughs> because he is very, sir. very liberal. I know that. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. We, we, this August House, are from different political parties with different political ideas. But we are all under the, our first chairman, the only one party at Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan's, under his shadow, we are sitting in the house, sir. So, we must rise in one voice to strengthen our nation's education system. For that, whoever it may be in the government, whatever their period, we must encourage them to do something. But to find faulting alone is not our, our business. We have to encourage and get work to be done from them. Huh? Sir, in that aspect, our Tamil saint, Thiruvalluvar says, Kedil vilichalvam kalvi oruvarkku madalla matrayavai. This is nothing. But for everyone, Education alone is wealth, nothing more than that. The diamond is not wealth, gold is not wealth, our money is not wealth. Only the education alone is the wealth. If we calculate according to development, our education means our GDP will be first in the universe. But we are not calculating our GDP according to education. You know one? One 30 years, 40 years before, in, if you go to any foreign countries, you know, that too in Europe or Western countries, they will say, you are coming from India, there will be snakes. Like that they will, uh, everywhere you are living with the snakes. Like that those, those people will, will uh, accuse us. But nowadays not like that, we are teaching them. No, so in so many armies, even American Pentagon city, in Pentagon, an American army headquarters, our people, that to our Indian students, Indian youngsters, that to in South, South Indian youngsters are sitting there and doing their programs. Now, like that we are improved, sir, but still I got some concerns about all those things, sir. As far as our country is concerned, elementary education is very necessary one. Same time, the higher education system of our country also plays a significant role in the creation of skilled human resources. Right to Education was launched in 2009 with a lot of noble expectations. But RTE scheme is losing its steam due to half hearted implementation. According to the Act, all private schools need to reserve 25% of their total seats for the students belonging to economically weaker section. Is it the, now it is happening? No. Everywhere, no. However, the department failed to reimburse the amount despite repeated representation from the schools. Still, a majority of private schools do not follow the system to provide admission to the school, children below the poverty line. Now, the private schools are not for improving education, not for service. The private schools are as a business center. They are, also, they are also doing a market business centers. They are not really served to the people. The, uh, education also, all the primary schools and then higher standard schools, the private schools are running, even colleges, they are making it as a business center for them. There is a need to set up a monitoring mechanism to ensure that 25% admission in all private schools and even the list of students can be provided by the government at lower level, madam, that you must be take care of it. You must directly, you have to monitor all those things. The overall literary rate in the country may have gone up to 74.4%, but the drop in the illiteracy rate has not matched the increase in population. Between 
the population above the age of 7 grew by 18.65 <coughs> crore, but the decrease in the number of illiterates is just 3.11 crore. It has to be noted. The fact that illiteracy is not being tackled in is evident from the enrollment rates in primary and upper primary schools. Over 12 years, the number of children who enrolled in primary schools increased by just 1.86 crore, but whereas the, the primary, the population was increased into 18 crore. The country also seems to be having a problem with retaining people in schools and colleges. An average of 326 out of 1,000 students in rural areas are dropping out. But whereas 383 per 1,000 in urban areas, it seems, it shows the dropout in urban area is more than rural area. This is the record. They, but now everybody is saying the rural students are now not willing to school. But the urban students are also like that. So we have to take care of it. For that noon meal, this midday meal, Noon meal, it is a very glamorous, not only glamorous, essential one, but minimum 5,000 rupees for organizer, for a cooking purple, the payment must be given. Otherwise, it is not useful. The madam, she knows about how paying to cook and all. I think I know, she, she knows, I think, she is also a woman, she knows the woman's trouble and all. So 5,000 rupees, minimum 5,000 rupees per month. We are getting per day, I think, 2,000 rupees DA. So at least 5,000 rupees per month we have to give to the <coughs> noon meal workers. And also, we must very careful corruption going on in the noon meal centers and all. We must be monitored. And then identity cards has to be given to the each and every student. Photo identity card. So malpractices are going. We are enrolling 20 students. But only really coming 20 students, but enrolling 200 students. So we have to be careful on that. And also, it's the most important one, and I have to go for it. 556 engineering courses, <laughs> sir, sir, only two minutes, sir. Very important, sir. Sir, 556 engineering courses and department have closed down in this year alone. In this year alone, our nation, 556 engineering courses and departments closed. Not only that, so many engineering colleges are closed, 50% of the enrollment is not taken. So all the infrastructure of the, those closed colleges should be nationalized. That should be utilized for other purpose. And then language issue formula, she must take care because language formula is very sensitive issue. Imposing any language will create problem. She is a very glamorous minister all over the nation. She should not lose her glamorous in South India. So she must be very okay. careful to deal the language issue. Thank you. Yes, no problem. Okay.